See, that's a problem because I really have to get that visa. I have to think of a plan B now. Let's do it. It's my carnative passage. Got it. this back because I thought it's actually a little bit bigger than my other one but it turns out it is smaller uh, I put on these clips here it does look kind of awesome on the bike it's a much better bike and I got it really cheap from the mall i feel like i also have a little bit more space now on the bike all right <laughs> time to go guys oh boy all right <laughs> can't believe i've been here for a month i thought a month is enough to get everything organized and heal myself a little bit but uh, yeah it's still tough and summer is over I mean it's, it's still it says 25 degrees so it's still not super cold but time to leave the city man and yeah I, I, I will surely not miss the city life in general but this city is Spectacular, apart from the traffic. <laughs> traffic is... I mean, it's now 9.50. Traffic is as bad as it gets. I, I showed you a little bit of the city in my last video. When uh, Lavi and Oli uh, visited me, that was awesome. That was really, really lifted my spirit. Oh boy, look at the city. Woo. I have a lot of papers now. I have my Carnet de Passage. I have a new insurance. But yeah, there's still one thing. <laughs> And as you guys know, I'm still on my way to New Zealand. That plan hasn't changed. That's still the goal of this whole journey, which I'm on for about nine months now. If you don't count in the whole UK, Ireland, lack of the journey, which I started last year at about the same time. I still want to go to New Zealand and there's not a lot of options that I have now. But at first I want to get out of the city, ride a little bit and uh, get into the whole travel situation again. <laughs> Let's do it guys. It's funny, the back is a little bit wider on this side than on this side. It's really odd. Yeah. Definitely not made for motorcyclists, but I, I kind of like it. I really do.
Georgia. So I was thinking about changing my tires but I figured there's still half of the thread left and I figured it would be I would be just a waste you know if I would change the tires now just because I might not get the tires to in the countries that I want to go to next but yeah I'll, I'm pretty sure I will always get tires anywhere it's all part of the adventure, I guess, but it would be an absolute waste. Even though I got those tires from Continental for free, uh, it would be a waste to just throw like perfectly good tires out just because it might be challenging to get new ones. So I'm keeping them on now. Yeah, they're still pretty good. Uh, same with the discs. You guys know I have trouble with my discs. The rotors are warped. So I tried to get Zero to send me new discs because, I mean, I do a lot of promotion for them. But yeah, even though my contact at Zero that always gets back to me, Alison, thank you for that. Uh, she tried, but yeah. You know how it is with big companies, you know, that always goes through so many people before something happens and they couldn't, somehow they couldn't figure it out. It's all right. I mean, they're just warped. They still work. Would have been nice, but yeah. I'm sure one day I will have sold zero enough motorcycles that I might get on their priority list. But I'm going to be fine. Man, it is super windy today. Sun's coming out, guys! <laughs> awesome! We're heading towards the mountains now. That is so good. And so is Eve. You know, the bike's running great. Other than the brakes, there's really, there's really not much to complain. I noticed I have a, there's a little chip from a stone in the belt, which, you know, that that kind of happens. You know, I, I'll do a lot of. I mean, not for normal adventure bike riders, but for my standards and for for this kind of motorcycle, I am doing a lot of off-road, especially here. When I came to Georgia, I went the first two days, was basically off-road and gravel. So this kind of stuff happens, but I have spare belts. I have two spare belts and uh, I reckon, you know, I don't know, what do you guys think? I reckon I just leave it on until it breaks and then I change it or I might as well, I could also put a new one on and keep that one as a spare because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I reckon I just leave it on until it really breaks. But yeah, 116 kilometers now on the highway and uh, I still have 45% battery left, 50 kilometers to the charger. That's really decent. You know, when you're in a country with chargers, that is absolutely no problem, but it's gonna get more difficult from now on, that's for sure. Check out this bridge. I kind of just want to drive over it. <laughs> so cool. Wow. deep gravel that is nice here but yeah really the option the only option that I have 
like the only real option to get to New Zealand is go via Iran and I actually I look forward to it but they're really they're not making it very easy to to get a visa I waited 20 days you know I, I did I did what I what I should do I, I went online and applied for the e-visa and I was waiting 20 days and nothing came back nothing and I, I got a little bit worried and I, I didn't want to stay much longer in uh, Tbilisi so I decided to go with an agency and that's the reason why I now have to go to Turkey and uh, I'm going to collect my visa and I will cross into Iran via Turkey now because I'm afraid that is the I'm afraid with Armenia like being on the brink of war with Azerbaijan now it's probably the best option and uh, most likely the easiest way to get into Iran and uh, since I didn't get the visa online I had to go with that agency and uh, they only and they will help me out with the whole process but you'll see you'll see anyways I, I haven't got the visa yet so <laughs> I, I'm not I don't know I'm just driving towards Turkey now and I will go to the embassy to the closest embassy and I hope those guys from the agency they're doing their job and I can collect the visa but uh, I don't know yet I don't know yet but I just had to get back on my way I just I just couldn't stay in the apartment any longer I was just I was sick of staying at one place I just felt like I had to keep on moving let's do it we, we, I have to try let's do it I also bought that jacket from the same mall it was only like 30 euro and I figured it would be cool to have a jacket that I can do both with you know like use for riding and use for like when it gets hot I can just uh, like put it in here and I still have my I mean and motorcycle jackets they're so expensive like like good motorcycle jackets yeah I think that's the best of both worlds yeah that bridge is very tight all right let's get out of here boy it's shaky here really Ooh. all right let's do it Hello. Hi. I, I want to use the electric charger. The uh, eSpace uh, electric charger. Now what do you need to do? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Perfect. So my friend Mark from Wireload, he sent me this adapter. I'm gonna need it for Asia now, because this is another end. It's called J something. Anyways, that, that end fits to Eve, and that end fits to the other chargers. So he sent me that. Thank you, man.
before the whole YouTube and influencer thing, companies really had to pay big money to produce a commercial or to, you know, have their product on TV and stuff. And, and nowadays they, they get all this for free, you know, like thousands, millions of views, people using their product and they get all this advertising just for free, you know? I don't know, I, I think it's a cool bag, but you know, that logo is really prominent. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just tape it off. If, there, if there's brands on my channel, then whatever. I, li I just like it better. I just like it better without the big logo. And you guys know now what brand it is, so. Unless North Face wants to send me a check. Tape comes off then. There's this new feature on Instagram where I could make like a huge group chat. It's called Broadcast Channel and uh, I named it Behind the Scenes. So make sure to check it out. I'll, I'll share, I share behind the scenes stuff like, like just now. I'm supposed to pick up my visa in uh, Ersurum which is in uh, Turkey, but it doesn't really make sense to go there right away because now it's the weekend and it usually takes five days for them to uh, get the visa code, which I need to go to the embassy and then collect my visa. So I thought I, I stay in Georgia tonight. Like I'm, I'm crossing the border tomorrow. That, that makes more sense. I, f I found a really cheap room. 13 euros and it's just 50 kilometers from here so i'll go there now and we'll cross the border to turkey again tomorrow and then i hope that i can get my visa on monday or tuesday that would be that would be really cool and then i have to go all the way down to the iranian border where i'm then going to meet the guy from the agency and he will just help me to get over the border and and sort everything out. So, fingers crossed that will work. Look at this guy. That's huge. All right. All right. I better. I better get going before nature takes over my whole gear. Look at you. Wow. I guess I didn't really have to ch fully charge the bike. Well, it was really nice hanging out here in the park, being outside, it was great. Now I only have 50 kilometers. Thank you, bye. But yeah, also you never know, you never, you never really know what's gonna happen, so. It's always good to have a full tank. It's weird being back on the road after one month. It's been really rough and I miss Marie a lot, but I can't really do much about it. It is how it is and I'll get over it for sure. We'll just take time and I'm gonna meet new people. I'm gonna see amazing places. I'm looking forward to going to Iran. It's gonna be a, a real adventure for sure. It's, 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 it's gonna be so different from everything I have done before. Go, okay. But I'm pretty sure the people are super nice over there and I'm gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be able to fast charge. Even though I know in Tehran, they just built I think five charging stations. I don't know if I'm going to go there. I, I, I didn't want to go in the big cities. I just want to experience the country and let's see. I have no plan as per the usual, but uh, I will figure it out. Man, look at that. Georgia is really... I don't know if it's a big thing within the adventure biker community, but... I can tell you, it's it's really nice, especially in the mountains.
All right. I'm now at a place called Akalsike, I think. It's really hard to pronounce those names. And the Airbnb is not far. It's just something simple, 13 euro a night. Okay, should be right here somewhere. Doggy dog. Huh. I think I passed it already. <laughs> Would that be a road here? <laughs> I saw the picture that I think that it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think that's it. Hello. Hello. Hello, hi. Hello. Uh, uh, hotel, Airbnb? English. Oh, English. Hello. <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Germany. Where are you from? Germany. Germany? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Airbnb? The ho hotel? Na Natia? Vino. Uh, hmm? Vino. Okay. Wine, wine. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> thanks, thanks. No. Very yeah, uh, uh, motorcycle outside. Can I wow. drive ah. in? Yeah, machine. Ah. Yeah, machine. Yeah. Oh, no more show one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's your name? Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus. Engel. Marcus Engel. Yeah. What's your name? David. David. Nice to meet you, David. Hi. Hi. What do you wine. do? What do you wine. Do? Wine. <laughs> wine. Oh, you make wine? Yeah, yes. Oh, one minute. All right. See, one minute. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow. Cool. Hello. <laughs> wow. See? Oh, that's cool. Look what moment. Wow. We know, we know. Oh. Wow. Wow. Cool. Mine and France. Wow, I have never seen that before. Very good. Wow. Do you like Um, Maybe later, maybe, maybe. That's so cool. Maybe. So cool. You YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, YouTube, yeah. That is so cool, really. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Nice, very good. Do you speak Russian? No, I'm sorry. Ah, I usually don't drink wine. Ah, but... It's really good. I had to drink the whole glass. I haven't touched alcohol in one year. Just saying. Ooh. All right, guys. This is the room. Bathroom and I even have a balcony. He's tucked away. Awesome. Gotta be honest, I've never seen live how they make the wine and it was oh it's really good man. But yeah, this is how it is, you know, it doesn't matter if you're if you if you drink wine or not, it's just the polite thing to do, you know, to try and you have to finish it all. Doesn't matter. Tomorrow I'm going to Turkey. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and uh, 
give it a thumbs up that really helps leave me a nice comment and I'll see you tomorrow let's see if I can get my visa it's gonna be fine